Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today we're gonna do a brand new guide for Sea of Thieves. I think my last guide was like four years ago. So we're gonna look how to optimize your windows properly for the game. And also we're gonna look at the in-game parameter. So now the best setting for windows for gaming. So first of all, we're gonna search for game mode in the search bar. Make sure that game mode is activated for the past like year. It's pretty good. Uh, you're getting a decent performance and you're gonna make sure that all your resources are focused on the game that you're playing For the Xbox game bar. I still recommend to deactivate this one causing stuttering crashing in some games So I'm not a huge fan of the Xbox game bar and for the capture Make sure that the background recording is at off and also the record uh, the recorded audio is at off Another thing that I recommend it's the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling make sure that you're searching for graphic setting you will need an NVIDIA card, 1000 series or more recent. It will really help with bottlenecks. So if you have a 1050, 1050 Ti, 1060, even the 2060, you can expect a nice 2-5% to boost. And also you can expect like less stuttering when you're using that. So I re really recommend to use that. Another thing that is really important, it's your driver. Make sure that you have the latest driver from AMD, NVIDIA, even Intel, if you have an, an iGPU on your processor. Um, so for an example here with AMD, you just click check for update and it's going to show you if you have the latest one. You can do the same thing with NVIDIA. Another thing that I can recommend with the um, NVIDIA and AMD, they have a, an image scaling uh, for the past like a couple of months. Um, for from AMD, it's called Super Resolution, and for NVIDIA, it's NIS. I have dedicated video to, who's gonna like show you how to use that and how to configure it. But to explain you quickly what it's about, uh, so you need to enable this. So for example, I'm playing uh, in 2K because my monitor in, is in 2K. I'm going inside of my game. I lower the resolution at 1080p, and the software will scale it back at 2K. And with this process, I can save like 15, 20% in my FPS. Also, you can do it if you have like a 4K monitor and you want to do 1080p or 2K. Uh, you can expect a nice boost. The image quality will not be the same if you compare with native, but in some game, it's working very well and you it's very tough to see the difference. So I, I recommend to, to use it if you're struggling with your FPS. Another thing that I recommend, it's your energy profile. So right energy in your search bar, go to power option. Make sure that you're running something like balance or high performance. Um, on a de desktop computer, it should not be an issue. But if you're playing on a laptop, really make sure that you're using that or a special profile for performance uh, from your brand like Asus, Dell or whatever. The thing is, sometimes when you plug your uh, PC in the wall, unplug using it with the battery, sometimes it stay at power saver and you don't want to use that when you're playing a game. So super important to be plugged in and also uh, to use a proper uh, performance profile. Another thing that I can recommend, it's the Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. This is a software made by the guy from DDU. Um, it's it's pretty amazing, honestly. Um, it will help if you don't have a lot of RAM in your PC. So if you have 4 gig of RAM, 8 gig, 12 gig, uh, after that, you should be fine. Windows is doing the job properly. So it will free memory and it's gonna make sure that it optimize your standby list. So what I recommend normally, it's look at your total memory here. In my case, it's 32, just divided by two. So for me, it's 16. Just press start and it will run automatically and you just lower the software like that and you're going to make sure it's optimized. So it's a really good software and also it helps a little bit with uh, stuttering. So I really recommend to use that. One last thing is um, I have dedicated video on my channel about overclocking CPU, overclocking GPU, depending on your brand and stuff. And it's pretty good because it there are basic overclocking guide. I don't touch voltage, so it's pretty safe. You can expect sometimes 2%, 10% boost in your FPS, depending on your thermal, depending on your component. But it's it's something that you need to look at too if you want to optimize your PC um, for the best performance. So now let's go inside of the game. So now inside of the game. So we're going to start with settings. We're going to go to video settings. So the first one is your resolution. Make sure that you're playing native. Uh, this is where you can lower your resolution if you want to use something like the super uh, resolution from Radeon or the NIS for NVIDIA. Uh, after that, the display mode, I really recommend to go with full screen. Super important. Borderless or window mode, you can expect some FPS drop and also stuttering. So don't go with that. 
For the V-Sync, I'm going with OFF because I have a free sync monitor. So if you have free sync or G-Sync monitor, definitely go with OFF. If you don't have that and you don't like your screen tearing, you can definitely uh, activate your V-Sync. Uh, but uh, it will add input lag in your game. After that frame lock, I'm using OFF because I already locked my FPS with my Radeon software. I recommend to uh, lock also your FPS if you're playing on a laptop with like a 60Hz screen. Uh, don't go too crazy. I see a lot of people who's doing like, for example, 90, 95 FPS. And after that, they have thermal issue. The, the CPU and the GPU start to throttling and they're getting like a lot of stuttering. So lock your FPS with the amount of Earths that you have if you have issue with your thermal. Performance counter, I recommend to go with FPS and ping. Uh, you will see them at the top left of my screen. So you can know like, do you like because of your network or uh, or server? Or it's because of the amount of FPS, so definitely go with that. Buffering, don't touch that. It will use it if you uh, use your V-Sync, but I don't recommend to using it. And after that, the resolution scale, I'm going with 100. Don't touch that. Don't upscale. You can upscale if you have a really good PC, but don't upscale or downscale if you're just playing and you're looking to, uh, to optimize your game. For the graphic, first of all, the field of view. Um, I recommend to go with 78 uh, if you're playing like on a, you're struggling with your FPS. More FOV, you will see more stuff in front of you. You need to render more, so you're going to lose FPS. Uh, so start with 78. Do the old guide. If you're still struggling, I recommend to maybe lower it a little bit more. Um, and this is pretty much it. If you want more higher than 90, I know you can use some third-party tool, but it's bannable, so I don't want to put yourself in that. So I'm not going to show you how to do it. For shadow detail, this one, the first parameter, this is pretty much the one that will provide you the most of FPS. If I compare mythical to curse, you can expect a 20 to 20 percent, a 20 to 22 percent boost in your FPS. So definitely, shadow start with curse. Curse is like the very low on any game. After that, for the model detail, I recommend rare. Rare, it's like medium. Um, curse and common, honestly. If I compare like curse to medium, you will lose like 2% in your FPS. So it's not worth it to go with like very low. So go with rare, you will have a decent image quality. And also you will have a, um, a proper amount of FPS. After that, for the texture, if you have like 4 gig and more of VRAM, you can definitely go with mythical. If you have 2 gig of VRAM, go with rare. And if you have less than 2 gig, you can go with curse. It doesn't take a lot of like VRAM. Uh, this game so you can definitely go very high with your texture water detail this one is a bit tricky uh, i really like the water in this game so you don't want to mess it too much with it but for sure if you're playing in like an old computer and you're struggling with your fps you have an integrated video card go with curse but i recommend to start at common just look at your water and your fps and if everything is fine just stay at common if you go you can go a little bit higher definitely do that uh, but the, the, the water is so beautiful in this game. You don't want to go too, too low with the, the graphic parameter. So this is a common issue. Uh, start with common and look at your performance. After that lighting detail, this one I recommend to go with Curse. Doesn't affect too much your image quality. And also you can expect a nice 6% boost in your FPS. So that's why I go with Curse. Particle effect quality and resolution, I recommend also to go with Curse. Those ones are tanking the FPS. Uh, if you're getting some random stuttering when you have like particle uh, explosion and stuff like that, it's because of those two settings. So super important to go with curse to maximize uh, your um, amount of FPS, but also to stabilize your FPS. So my uh, my um, advice here is go with curse. Animation quality. This one you can go with common or even rare if you have a decent like uh, CPU. If you're playing a core on a core duo two like with two cores. Don't go too crazy with this one. Go with Curse. But if you have like a quad core or something more recent, definitely go with Rare. For the unique mesh buffer, I recommend to go with Curse. For the visibility after that, you have three different settings as you can see over here. Uh, I recommend to disable blur. So go with on. It will help a lot for your visibility. Screen shake, same thing. You don't want those effects when you have earthquake, cannon and stuff like that. Uh, and also it will help with visibility. And the last one is... You can disable the rat on your ship. It can help for your FPS. If you have like, uh, you're playing on an old like integrated GPU on your uh, Intel CPU, uh, you will see a difference. Uh, so super important also to deactivate that. 
So this is pretty much it, guys, for my um, CFT guide. If you have any question, just come in the YouTube section. Post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.